Hello viewers, it is game week three in the Salisbury District Division 1 League. Today sees the West Harnham Dragons travel away to Fardeen Rangers FC. Just two changes from the lineup that beat Derrick and Dynamos last week, with number six, Connor Palmer, coming in to replace the absent Jamie Ritchie, and number seven, Michael Glasson, coming in to replace Johnny Mugridge, who sits on the bench. So that leaves us with Phil Potts in goal, Derek Barkley, Joel Denyer, Ryan Jones and Harry Crisp across the back, Jordan Palmer and cousin Connor Palmer in centre midfield, Dean Rickson just in front of them, Harry Denyer on the left wing, Michael Glasson on the right wing and Jordan Matthews up top. It leaves us with a fairly strong bench of Jonathan Mugridge, Charlie Burden, Mark Johnson, Jack Roberts and Director of Social Ed Cottle. Quick shout out to our sponsors then, Palmer's Papers. If you live local to the area, get yourself down the shop. It'll have everything you need and you won't meet a nicer bloke. So just as we get underway then, I should mention there is a bit of history between these two teams. We knocked them out of a cup quarterfinal, I think, last season. And they beat us in a different cup final, only to be stripped of it for fielding an eligible player. So here we go then, game underway. West Harnham in red. Fardine Rangers in black and yellow. Mike does well to win the ball back. Plays it back to Crispy, who hashes it out for a Fardine throw. First bit of action then, as Harry Denyer sends in a long throw in. Fardine get up to clear. Glasson picks the ball up on the edge of the box. Finds Jordan Palmer, who has a look. Then a pop, and it's just over the bar. Unlucky from Jordan, he can hit them from there. Fardine Rangers get us back underway then with a defensive free kick on the right hand side. Played forward down the line. Over hit slightly though. Joel Denyer manages to sweep up but his touch is too heavy. Fardine Rangers pick the ball back up and the attacker is brought down on the edge of the box there. So it's a th free kick in a very dangerous position now. West Harlem are going to need to switch on in order to not concede here. Fardine line up the free kick. And it's hit, it's a poor free kick, but the wall doesn't do its job. And it's picked up easily, sent back across the goal. And George Plank, of all people, ex-West Harland player, puts Fardine Rangers 1-0 up. So let's take another look at that goal there. It's a terrible free kick, but look at this wall. Jordan Palmer and Michael Glasson not doing their job there. They get a bit of jam with being able to get the rebound. And in the end there, it's a very simple finish. West Harnham now back on the attack as Derek Barkley sends in a free kick. It's not the greatest and Faldine managed to clear only as far as Jordan Palmer though, who sends it back into the path of Joel Denyer. Picked up by Faldine, but he's robbed by Dean Rickson, who has a look, travels, and then a shot. Well saved by the Faldine keeper, who forces it out for a corner. Corner played in now by Michael Glasson. Faldine get there first, and it's followed up by Faldine who play the ball down the line. Only as far as Jordan Palmer, though, who plays it back into Harry Denyer. Harry travels with the ball, has a look up, plays it in. Glasson with the touch there, holds off the defender and puts it into the back of the net to bring West Harnham back onto level terms. One all now. Um, excellent finish by Michael Glasson. Let's take another look at that then. Harry Denyer with the ball across, but Glasson here to bring that under on the chest. And then hold the defender off and poke it past the keeper. Great goal. Signed on this season. Already making an impact. Excellent play there. Fardine on the attack now. And it's won by Fardine. Asbo commits and misses. And Derek with a poor clearance back into the path of Fardine. Harry Denyer with a late challenge there. And he's going to be called over by the referee for a chat. He reaches for his pocket and it's the first yellow card of the game for Harry Denyer on the 13th minute. Free kick for Fardine in a dangerous position and they line up now. In the ball goes, won there by Jordan Palmer, Dean Rickson looks to clear. The clearance isn't the best but it's better than his touch and the attack is over. And Fardine with the throw in now anticipated lovely by Connor Palmer there, sells the defender and plays in Jordan Matthews, who has a touch, has a look and a shot, and the defender gets the slightest of blocks there to send the ball out for a corner. Michael Glasson sends the ball in, won by Jordan Matthews and in the back of the net, but the referee has blown there 
for a free kick on the defender. Not much in that. So another throw and attack for West Harnham now. King of the long throw in, Harry Denyer lines another one up and he sends it into the box there. And it's won by the Fardine defender and cleared by Fardine. Jordan picks the ball up though, plays it back into Asbo, who plays it forward into Joel Denyer. Joel Denyer has a look, finds Jordan Matthews' feet, makes a run, but Jordan goes back. Harry Crisp on the ball now, who plays it across to Connor Palmer, back into Asbo. Asbo back to the keeper. Phil Potts has a little chop, but Crispy's able to recover there. And I believe he plays it back into Ryan Jones, who knocks a lovely ball forward, which Michael Glasson does well to hold up. Good football now by West Harnham. Really good spell. Michael Glasson on the ball. Back into Dean Rickson. Slight change in pace now as he travels forwards and beats two. Glasson back onto the ball. Dummies his one man one time. Has a shot and it's cleared off the line there by the Faldeen midfielder. A lot of pressure on Faldeen now since we've equalised. Corner. And this is going to be sent in by West Harnham number seven, Michael Glasson. And the ball comes across and it's won again by the Faldeen defender. But it's still in there as Joel challenges. Bit of ping ball in the air with headers. And it comes out to Jordan Palmer. Plays it back out right to Michael Glasson. He sends another great ball across there and Connor finds himself unmarked at the back post but puts the ball just wide. Unlucky from West Harnham. Could be in front by now, you would say, with some of the chances that we've been having. Faldeen gets back underway then with a goal kick, which is won in the middle there by Faldeen and played out right. Faldeen played it forward down the line there. George Plank for Faldeen takes it back, looks to go home. But Derek Barkley with a slightly late challenge and the referee is going to call him over for a chat and he's going to go into the book for the second yellow card of the game for West Harnham. So another free kick for Faldeen in a fairly dangerous position. They look to send it in. Poor free kick, cleared at the front post by Jordan Matthews and picked up by Harry Denyer. Dean Rickson takes it forward and plays it. Faldeen defender looks like he's been caught there as Michael Glasson looks to take the ball forward and he plays in Harry Denyer. Just too much on it though, and the referee is going to go back and have a look at the Faldeen player who's on the floor and not very happy. Not sure why though, because he lunged in. Uh, Dean Rickson did absolutely nothing wrong, uh, and he gets fairly animated here. The referee wants to chat with him, wants to calm the situation down. As you can see, uh, the Faldeen player is not very calm, and eventually. Now he goes into the book for a yellow card. So Fardine now have one player of theirs go into the book. Back underway now with Fardine on the ball. Looking to play the ball down the left-hand side. Heads it in and Dean Rickson comes in to clear the ball forward. Connor Palmer presses the ball there. and He's looking to put the defence under pressure and win the ball back. Jordan Matthews slides in to win it. Gets a knee to the face there as the referee looks to play advantage but brings it back for the head injury. Um, and Jordan is down and here comes the medic, Jack Williams. He knows exactly what this situation needs though. Uh, have a look here. Nice little back rub, bottle of water and everything is okay again. So we're back underway as the ball is sent out by Fardine. Crispy looks to hold the ball up, but it doesn't go out as Faldeen carry it forward. And uh, another clumsy challenge there from West Harnham as Harry Crisp is going to go for a chat with the ref now. And he's going to be the third player for West Harnham to go into the book right on the stroke of half time. So Faldeen with that free kick now, play long into the box. Faldeen get up and win the ball. Keeper collects but then fumbles. Cameraman has an absolute nightmare. It's a real chance for Faldeen. Uh, and what you don't see is Joel Denier gets back in uh, with a great challenge to clear the ball. So it's a Faldeen corner right now. And they send the ball across. And Jordan Matthews is up brilliantly there to clear at the back post. Harry Denier clears opportunity over. Last kick of the half now for Ryan Jones who has a pop. And it's just over the bar. So first half ends, one all is the score. 
So West Harnham get us back underway with the second half here. No changes at half time. You feel that if we can just keep our heads and keep playing some football, we're going to get chances that might win us the game. West Harnham on the attack. One there by Connor Palmer. Absolutely atrocious foul there. There's a Faldine player just bundles Dean Rickson over on the edge of the box. Referee wants a chat. Then he changes his mind. No booking for Faldine. Instead, he has a chat with Connor Palmer. Glasson with a free kick just wide of the post there. West Harnham on the attack again with a long ball forward from Ryan Jones. One there by Jordan Matthews. Tried to be brought down by Connor Palmer and Jordan wins the ball again. Ball ends up at left back with Derek Barkley who plays it forward to Harry Denyer. Harry Denyer absolutely toasts his man there for pace who lunges in and Harry plays it across. No one there to collect it for Harnham as Rico picks up the second ball, puts it back into Harry Denyer who's called offside. West Harnham go forward again now as Jordan Matthew plays it back into Harry Crisp who plays it back down the line for Jordan Matthews to chase. Jordan Matthews advances on goal now, does well to get his shot away, and it's saved well by the Faldine keeper. A lot of pressure from West Harn, and they've started the second half brightly, just as they finished the first half. And it's a long throw in now from Harry Denyer, thrown into the box. Ryan Jones is there, but it's straight into the keeper's hands. West Harn now on the attack through Jordan Palmer, who plays the ball outright. Ball's knocked forward to Dean Rickson, who takes a delightful touch there to beat his man, has a shot on goal. Keeper is equal to it again there at his near post. So goal kick for Fardine, and it's won by Connor Palmer. Harry Denyer picks the ball up, plays it back to Palmer. Palmer looks up, finds Rickson, who plays it back out to Palmer, and he beats his man, whips the ball across there. Jordan Matthews just unable to win it. And it's out for Fardeen. Recovered well now by Jordan Palmer, who looks out to Michael Glasson, who's going to take a look up now, try and play the ball back across. And the goal is absolutely gaping there for Harry Denyer. Real opportunity to go 2-1 up. Uh, and unfortunately, it's gone wide of the post. First substitution of the game now. Michael Glasson has had an absolutely great game. He comes off and on for him is the whippet Johnny Mugridge now for West Harnham getting us back underway with a goal kick sent long down the centre of the field one by Connor Palmer and on to Jordan Matthews but the referee thinks he spotted something here and he's going to pull the game up going to pull Connor Palmer over and he's going to have a chat now and he's going to go into the book and it's a yellow card West Harnham's four for the game and we're just beginning to lose our temper and our patience a bit now and it's really important that we've got to keep our heads here. And Fardine on the attack. Looks to unleash a shot. And Ryan Jones gets across to block. Fardine can definitely sense a bit of blood now. They can see West Harnham agitated by some of the decisions. Um, and they're starting to put a bit of pressure on the back line. Corner sent in by Faldine. It's a good one. And it's won by the Faldine defender there. And it's headed onto the post. It's unlucky as Faldine picked the ball back up. And Dean Rickson rushes in. And the referee blows up for a free kick. Dean Rickson loses his temper uh, and is called over. And he now goes into the book for West Harnham's fifth yellow card of the game. Uh, really poor discipline this game. And as the referee walks back over stupidly there you can see Derek Barkley kicks the ball away he's already on a yellow card he receives our sixth yellow card of the game and is then sent off for his second yellow so West Harnham now down to 10 men and Faldine line up that free kick finally Faldine free kick then so they look to play it in it's another poor free kick from Faldine as West Harnham look to clear Ryan slides in Referee points for a Fardine throw in. Jones is unhappy about that and he's now going to talk himself into the book for another yellow card for West Harnham, another one for Descent. Really poor showing on the discipline front today. Substitution then as Dean Rickson comes off, Charlie Burden comes on. What can he do to change our fortunes as we're down to 10 men and back on the attack? Fardine defence wins the ball there. 
plays it out through the centre, has a look up, great knock through the centre there as Jordan Palmer slides in with the Faldeen player, back on his feet, Ryan comes in and the referee's blown his whistle for a penalty, they look a bit lucky to have got this, let's take a look, 50-50 there, not given for that one, Jordan looks to get back up, Faldeen striker does well to get his body back over the ball, but no, no contact there, Ryan comes in, very little contact, if any, there. I think they've got away with that one uh, and been a bit lucky there. What do you think? Let us know in the comments section below. Um, Faldeen penalty then. Good penalty. Luke was unlucky not to have reached it. 2-1 Faldeen. Phil Potts looking to get 10-man West Harnham back on the attack now with Connor Palmer. Plays it forward to Jordan Palmer. Loses out cheaply back to Faldeen. Plays the ball out to the right-hand side. Crispy closes him down. Has a little taste of his ankles, but then, wow, takes one to the chops and a push to the face. Uh, absolutely disgusting behaviour from the number eight here. Look, a little bit clumsy from Harry Chris, but no excuses for the big elbow to the chin. And then, for some reason, turns around and pushes Harry Crisp in the face. And the camera stops there, but a little bit of handbags broken up. And the referee now quite rightly send in the angry little number eight off for Fardine, but somehow also sends Harry Crisp off. Um, surely he's entitled to defend himself there. So Fardine down to 10 men, West Arnhem to nine, and they are back on the attack with Johnny Mugridge here through the centre of the field. He plays out left to Harry Denyer, who collects the ball, brings it back inside, and it's a rather tame shot there easily collected by the goalkeeper. West Tarnham pushing hard for the equaliser despite being a man down. Jordan Matthews closes in on the folding keeper here who picks the ball up and looks to play a long ball downfield. Now the camera doesn't quite get this, it overpans, but basically the ball bounces over Jones. The folding striker is free to finish off the game and put folding Rangers 3-1 up against a nine-man West Harnham team with no discipline. West Harnham now back on the attack through Charlie Burden, who carries the ball central and then plays it left to Harry Denyer. Harry Denyer does well to keep that in, and he beats his man again for pace, plays the ball across, but no one in the box to receive it for West Harnham as Fardine look to clear. Forward through the centre. And then back out to the right to George Plank. Charlie Burden closes him down. The referee blows it up again. Um, George is rolling on the floor for some reason. I'm not sure because Charlie's not touched him there. Um, and he draws another yellow card from the West Harnham player. Faldeen back on the attack now. As Charlie Burden nips in to recover the ball and goes out wide to clear his line. George Plank, ex-West Harden player, picks the ball up off of him though and jockeys out attacking the far right-hand corner. Jordan comes over to help and an absolutely horrendous challenge there from Jordan Palmer. Let's take one more look at that. If you can, Jordan just lunges into George. It does feel quite nice to watch because it's George. But it was an atrocious challenge there. And Jordan Palmer, quite rightly, sees red at the end of the game. West Harnham's third of the game. And they are now down to eight men. And Luke Philpotts for West Harnham tries to get him going forward. One by Faldeen and back in to Charlie Burden, who takes a look up, plays it over to the left-hand side for Harry Denyer, who beats his man well and puts the ball into the back of the net. Could there be a late comeback here for eight-man West Harnham? Uh, a good goal, great ball from Charlie Burden. Denya does well to speed past his man for the umpteenth time of the game. Bury the ball into the back of the net. It's late on in the game. There could only be a, a minute or so left of injury time as the ball comes back for Luke Philpotts. He looks up to clear. It's poor though, and Fardine Rangers are able to see the game off in the last kick of the game. It's Fardine Rangers now lead West Harnham four goals. To two. Unlucky from Luke, uh, but sums up our day really. And the full time whistle goes straight after that goal. Uh, and not a great day at the office for the Harden Dragons. 
So that result leaves us still top of the Salisbury and District Division 1 table, although there are rumours that Laverstock are pulling out since we spanked them 18-1 at the beginning of the season. No game for Harnham for two weeks, so we leave you with a smile from Jack and a picture of a couple of duvels.